Little Crip Dog Training in New Braunfels, Texas. Today with me, I have my recording train. This is Theo. He's a two-year-old poodle mix. Uh, Mom brought him to us saying that uh, he really wants to work on his recall. He uh, has bad door manners and he does pull the leash a little bit. Uh, well, this is all of her previous training, so let's see what he can do. Theo, can you come? Come? Definitely, it's a lot of work. Um, that's okay. We'll get fixed up in the next 15 days. So keep up with this progress. All the folks here at Public Fire Training in Rockford, Texas.
Yo. Uh, hi, I'm James, this is Theo. I'm Krista, and this is Chip. We, uh, we came to Bulletproof Dog Training for help with our two dogs. They're a year and a half, and it's Chip, and Theo's right at two years. Um, one of the main things we had is Theo's a pandemic puppy. He uh, grew up not having a whole lot of socialization. We took it to a couple of different group classes, uh, different places, and his anxiety was just too much to be successful. Um, I groomed him myself, as is evidenced by his fancy haircut. I, I brought him here, kind of hoping they could help teach him some of the strategies that I wasn't able to do um, in terms of being able to heal correctly. He already knew sit and stay pretty well, but uh, I couldn't take him out in public. Uh, the folks here, they've taken the video out, and uh, I've got video proof of him going around, walking around Bowes, Home Depot, and other places, and having people walk around him. Uh, he's doing a lot better. I, I don't think that he's ever going to be a perfectly sociable people person, but I'm really shocked at just how well he's learned not just the commands they said they were going to teach him, but that he actually seems to be able to do it in a setting that previously it's been impossible for him. I spent two years kind of being afraid to take my dog in the public, and I'm kind of looking forward to it. And Chip uh, has a mind of his own, and really need extra help to get him to be a good uh, leash dog um, and also follow through on commands and uh, comply a little quicker and everything. So um, both the dogs prefer um, James here. So <laughs> having that little extra um, training mechanism to help uh, them listen to me as well. So um, they don't end up a mile down a turkey creek trail or anything without me. Um, and I'm confident now that they're not gonna end up you know, darting off or getting too far away with all the training. Uh, Colton and Natasha did a great job and really looking forward to seeing all the progress we make with them too. And uh, really, really excited and happy for uh, time here. But, yeah, I think the journey starts now. Yeah, uh, for sure. But, it, it was crazy seeing Colton and Natasha sit here and show us the commands and the dogs were perfectly obedient and then I'm trying to replicate it. Yeah. And it's fairly clear that this is still going to be a journey that I'm going down on. I'm just excited that uh, our puppies are going to be able to do yeah. it, hopefully in a, the good citizen <laughs> manner. Just, yeah, know, and we found the right place for it, so yeah. definitely recommend uh, yeah, sending your puppies here. This is so. awesome. So, thanks. Thank you.